Hello, welcome to the Healthy Alternatives podcast. I am Dr. Christine Sauer with DocChristine.com. Today's show is a recording of my radio show of the same name. Enjoy! Good afternoon, this is Dr. Christine Sauer, your host of the show Healthy Alternatives here on 97.5 CIOE FM with live stream on communityradio.ca every Thursday at 12 noon Atlantic Standard Time. Thanks for tuning in today. In this show, I will talk mostly with guests about all aspects of health, healthcare and wellness, from conventional to alternative and everything in between. My mission for this radio show is to help change people's lives for the better by informing them about different options to get and stay healthy and well so they can choose for themselves which option might be the best in their case. And if you feel you're stuck in a dark place, I want to tell you, don't give up. There is a light at the end of the tunnel for you too. Today, I'm very pleased to be with Joanna Rogester. I hope I pronounced it right, Joanna. Yeah, you've got it. <laughs> oh, cool. Joanna is not only an international speaker and author, but also a classic homeopath and a holistic nutritionist. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Now, it's Joanna, great to meet you. It's great to meet you too. Uh, we talked a little bit online back and forth, but I'm I'm very interested to hear a little bit about how you became the person you are today and how you got into the field of holistic nutrition and homeopathy. Well, it's been kind of a, a long path because I actually worked for um, a chartered bank in Canada here for 20 years mm -hmm. before I changed course. And what took me on that path was that I developed Graves' disease about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And Graves' disease is a hyperthyroid autoimmune condition. Mm -hmm. And um, with, that, with it, I was experiencing all these you know, varied symptoms, such as heart palpitation, heart racing, all those things, mm -hmm. which were um, kind of a, a manifestation of what was going on in my life at the time. I was working full-time in kind of a stressful corporate financial world, trying to take care of three kids on my own because my husband was working all the time and trying to do too much. So I was mm -hmm. trying to be that perfect mother and per perfect employee and perfect wife, which I think a lot of us try and do. Right. And I wasn't doing any of them all that well. So I, I developed, fell in that trap um, too and it didn't serve me well. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, mental and emotional state manifested into a physical state of being overwhelmed and You know, I went to the endocrinologist eventually who, you know, told me that um, he didn't think it was cancer. <laughs> I can remember being so shocked because I had no idea it was even that bad. But uh, yeah, I, I asked him if there was any natural alternatives and he just kind of a bit condescending looked, condescendingly looked at me and said no. And so I, I took the meds because I didn't know what else to do. Sure. But as soon as I got home, I started doing the research and came to realize that there was all kinds of things that I could do so mm -hmm. just change my diet change the way I looked at life slow down a bit all these things and within three months I came off the meds and um, I've never had a problem since then now I don't ever tell anyone to come off their meds without working with their doctor but sure. um, you know at that time I'd made enough changes and I'd caught it early enough to, uh, that I was able to to change things for myself and so that took me I went back to school for nutrition first and then I came to realize with nutrition you don't always know what what changes brought about internal change and so that's when I decided to go back to school for homeopathy after that now what attracted all, you to homeopathy you could have well, done anything well, <laughs> Well, you you know of homeopathy course. yourself, having come you know from lived Germany, in Germany and being a naturopath in Germany. There's a homeopathy is part of the training there, right? Yeah, so it's it's, it's natural. Um, all the alternatives, like all the remedies that we give, are all drawn from natural sources. There aren't side effects, although you know it can have an effect upon the body. But um, it's very very healthy, natural choice that made sense to me when I started doing the research but it was actually kind of funny because a friend of mine who was a Bowen practitioner said Joanna I think homeopathy and nutrition or homeopathy and 
nutrition go hand in hand, just like Bowen and homeopathy go hand in hand. And so we are going to take this course together, which is in Toronto, which is about, you know, an hour and a half away from where I live. Mm -hmm. And, but at the last minute, she just had too much going on and couldn't take it. So I ended up doing it by myself. <laughs> so, well, it's funny how, um, how, how destiny uh, uh, shapes uh, us and, and, and predicts what we are doing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, like it wasn't a big epiphany that went, yeah. ah, homeopathy is for me. But it, uh, you know, when I looked into it, it made sense. And then taking the course, I, I just, I loved it. Because yeah. homeopathy, you know, treat everyone completely individually. And, you know, you can have 10 people with diabetes and each one of them will have slightly different symptoms. So it is possible they could all have slightly different remedies. So that's where... Um, you know, it really interested me, but also it's a holistic approach because it's never just the physical symptoms, it's the mental and emotional symptoms also. So doing something on that holistic level is really what drew me to it. Right. And I think homeopathy is a valuable healing modality if done by a, an experienced practitioner who knows what they're doing, knows their limitations. And I know some people use very uh, high concentrations. They say, yeah, statistically, there's nothing in it. And whether you believe in it or not, it works for certain people. Yeah. It doesn't work for everybody. If you don't believe in a modality, whatever it is, it won't work for you. If you don't believe your diabetes pills will do anything, it probably won't. No, that's so true. <laughs> but and, it is, and, and it is it, all natural right? and it's individual. And I think that is extremely important that our medical system also goes a little bit more towards the individual instead of just treating everybody with the same label the same way. Right. And, and there's a couple of things now they mm -hmm. can actually measure, like, Yeah. Previously, they didn't have the measuring tools to determine because there is such a minute amount mm -hmm. of the original substance left, but now they can measure it. And so now that they do see that there is actually a minute amount there, and that's enough to influence us. But but that's, you know, that's kind of the, the beauty of homeopathy that, yeah, if, if you can accept that it might work, mm -hmm. then then it will. It's oh, just, definitely. you know... Western medicine doesn't work for everyone, but ideally what we choose, and it should always be integrated too. Yes. You know, ideally we choose the natural therapy first, and if we don't get a, the response that we're looking for, then, you know, try other different yeah, therapies. And that applies especially for chronic diseases. I mean, yes, yeah. when you fall down the steps, break your arm, you, you'd want to go to get conventional treatment to get that set. And, yeah. and if you have a sudden attack of what, whatever it is, uh, the, the, your gallbladder colic or something, you want to go to the air or a heart attack. But if you have a chronic disease, you're, you're ill for months and months and uh, pills usually are not a complete solution for those kind of problems. No, that, that's right. And, and actually, you, you know, unfortunately, a lot of uh, Western medicines, <laughs> mm. they have so many side effects. Right. That they're causing all kinds of issues in itself. Like how many magazines have you read where they have, you know, a drug that they're recommending and, you know, and there's three pages of side effects afterwards. Yeah. Um, stuff like that always kind of scares me. <laughs> yes. And, and, and as a conventionally trained physician myself, I, 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 I very much experienced those side effects in my clients and I wasn't satisfied, and that was the approach that uh, made me become a naturopath in Germany, too, in the first place. And I think a combination is always good. Health is always a team effort. And uh, homeopathy can be a very valuable part. And alone diving into the individual sources and root causes can be therapeutic for a client. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think one of the beautiful things about homeopathy mm -hmm. and, you know, Uh, natural therapies in general, right, is that we really get our patients to really feel what's going on with inside them. Because with, with homeopathy, just like other, you know, natural therapies, like I'm asking a hundred questions yeah. about their sleep, their appetite, um, you know, their bowel movements, their digestive issues, all those things. But it's always like describe what's going on in your body um, right. beyond, you know, I've got a headache and it hurts. So, but what part of the brain is it in? Is it pressure? Is it a pounding? Whatever it is. But I, I think one of the biggest things that's so important for people to start to realize that they can heal themselves is to become that observer in their life and to start to notice what their body's telling them. 
Yes, and we need to encourage the clients to take charge, people to take charge of their own health and not to delegate it to some kind of health care providers. Yeah. It's, it's your or my I, life and we are responsible for what happens mm-hmm. to a large amount. Yeah, There's always you know, something that's fluked out of the blue, yes, but mostly we are responsible for what's going on. Right, like who better to be your your advocate, right, other than yourself, right? right. So <laughs> figure out what is going on, not not figure out yourself, but, you know, pay attention and listen to what your body's telling you and what your thoughts are and what your emotions are right. so that you can understand when there's changes that are taking place and, you know, what you're not satisfied with and where you want to head. Because I think that's one of the big things that I find with clients is, that they don't understand that they can feel better. Mm-hmm. You know, they, that they, they feel stuck. Yeah. That the conventional you know, doctor might have today. told them, oh, you have diabetes. Well, you will get worse and eventually need a kidney transplant. It's just not true. It doesn't have right. to be that way. Yeah. And that's well, kind of sad sometimes. Well, and, and I'm sure you hear it all the time mm-hmm. also that, well, you know, my family, diabetes is running my family. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's a foregone conclusion that I'm going to get it, mm-hmm. which, you know, we just know it's not true. You know, now we know that it's, it's so much. We used to think that um, our DNA was controlled within the nucleus of the right. cell. And now we know it's controlled by the membrane of the cell. So not that just that, just means- but it, 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 there's epigenetics is so important. Yeah. And yeah. there's a big continuum from purely genetic uh, determined diseases, there are such, to those that are purely environmental. And there's a big continuum in between. And I love that you mentioned that. And we should talk more about that in the second half of the show. And that is a nice way to wrap up the first half. Okay. Now, thank you for talking about it. It's very interesting. And I'm looking forward to talking more after the commercial break with uh, Joanna Rochester about her work as nutritionist and homeopath with their clients. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Healthy Alternatives here on 97.5 CIO EFM or on the web at communityradio.ca. I'm your host, Dr. Christine Sauer, and today I'm talking with Joanna Rochester. We were talking in the first half of her journey of overcoming Graves' disease with natural means and becoming not only a holistic nutritionist but also a classic naturopath which was a very interesting combination. And we were talking about the uh, natural treatment first if you have a chronic illness. And, and I love that picture. So tell me a little bit more. When a client comes to you, what would happen? Um, and so, sorry, it's just a classical homeopath. Um, so when a, um, a client comes to me, we sit down and um, we start off the top by just you know, be introducing ourselves and getting the client to feel more comfortable and understanding a bit more about what homeopathy is so that they can understand why I'm asking them the, you know, the 150 or whatever questions. It's not 150, it just depends on the flow of the conversation, but mm. it, it's to understand all of their symptoms because it really doesn't matter what they've been diagnosed with. It's what their symptoms are. Right. And so homeopathy, homeopathic remedy, if you can look at it, that there's so many um characteristics or symptoms of each remedy and so each one if you can see each remedy as a puzzle with all the pieces to it and I try and match my client and their symptoms to the remedy and its puzzle now, and let's, try let's just, get them as close as possible. Can we just and drive a little bit back because some of our listeners might not know what homeopathy really is. Maybe you just say a little bit about what it means and how you get to a remedy. Okay. So homeopathy is a practice of medicine that's been around since, um, for about 250 years, uh, Samuel Hahnemann in Germany was the originator of it. And it's 
homeopathy is based upon the law of similars. And by that, I mean that, um, or the law of like cures like, maybe that's easier mm-hmm. to understand. So with homeopathy, if you have insomnia, I'm going to give you a natural substance or a remedy that would cause insomnia in a healthy person. Mm-hmm. Um, Western medicine is based upon the law of opposites. So in Western medicine, if you have insomnia, I'm going to give you a remedy that puts you to sleep. Mm-hmm. So that's where it's the law of similar, the law of like cures like. And uh, so all natural substances derived from plants, minerals, insect and animal venoms. Um, and, you know, it's in a very, very diluted form. So there's little side effects. So typically we say that there's no side effects from mm. homeopathic remedies. They also, homeopathic remedies also work underneath medication, so you don't have to stop taking your medications. You work, um, continue taking medications, and as the homeopathic remedy starts to rebalance your system, then you can work with your primary care physician to, you know, reduce the medications that you're on. So it's it's not something that you have to go and change everything to get started. But when a client comes into me, I, I need to find out what their symptoms are. So I ask them all kinds of questions to determine which remedy is most suitable for them. So mm-hmm. when I'm at school, I've spent tons of time studying the, dem- the remedies, but also a lot of time in clinic finding out, you know, mm-hmm. how to ask questions without directing people like um just finding the best remedy for the, the patient. Mm-hmm. And, and and that's important that it's individualized and uh, individualized form of, uh, of uh, remedy or natural medicine, and that is very valuable. Now, many people that are listening might ask, well, you give them something that the normal people would be waking up from when they can't sleep. So would you give them a cup of coffee? That's what wakes up normal people. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is possible. <laughs> um, I, I guess maybe one of the simpler ones is. Um, so no, I think someone... I think really what you would do is you take the coffee and shake it up, uh, so it's just a little drop of coffee in an ocean of water, and give them that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is a good uh, metaphor, a good, good simile. <laughs> Yeah, just a minute amount. And what it, what homeopathic remedies do is it, it, it stimulates the vital force, your chi, whatever you mm-hmm. want to call it, stimulates the body to start healing itself in certain areas. Really, it's a so, form of energetic healing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's Definitely. that's one of the fascinations that I always had with homeopathy, that it's it's kind of an energetic form of healing because you you capture the energy of the remedy in the solution and that's a fascinating piece yes and and in part that's where you know the the greatest skeptics come in Mm. but um it's also it's the beauty of homeopathy that it does work in that way Mm -hmm. and you know i guess with western with western medicines you know we don't understand how a lot of western medicines actually work and they just tell us to trust Mm. but but yet somehow um, you have homeopathic remedies that are all natural and few side effects to none. And we're, yeah, that we have to completely mm. prove that it works. But anyway, I, I do know and I see on a constant basis the remedies working and there are there is all kinds of research and more and more being done to prove that homeopathy does work. Yeah. It just can't be done on the grand scale um, that... And I remember when I was working in Germany, you could actually, certain homeopathic preparations, you could prescribe for the health right. insurance to pay for your patients. And That's wonderful. Some of them had amazing effects and worked very nicely, for, especially for illnesses that are chronic and hard to cure with just a pill, like sleeplessness is a classic example insomnia mm-hmm. you don't want to take a sleeping pill because you get addicted to it and the side effects you're hung over all day right so yeah. a homeopathic remedy that is appropriately selected by a knowledgeable practitioner like yourself can be a big help that way 
Well, and it's it's amazing how many people um, come to me after they become so frustrated with you know mm-hmm. the traditional or the Western med- medical way, right. and um, you know we we can very quickly make changes, and mm-hmm. and that's another thing with homeopathy is that you know, we'll usually know within a day or two if something's working or not. It's mm-hmm. not like you have to do a six-month plan um, and just sit back and wait and keep taking them. Um, you know, we'll know within a couple of days if, if um, change has been brought about. Sometimes it's very minor. Sometimes it's very, um, like a very obvious change. Um, other times, you know, things take place within the next two weeks, but mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's a very quick turnaround with the remedies if we've got it right. Mm-hmm. Now, how are your experiences with children? Because I felt that it's always very effective for children like eczema or something. Well, especially eczema, that's, that's a great example because the beauty with children, among other things, is that, you know, with, with, with adults, there, there can be contraindications. You know, they've had the imbalance. It's been chronic for years. Um, they're not very compliant a lot of times. Um, you know, they're still drinking coffee or smoking or other things. So you've got all these things that are, mm-hmm. are challenging their remedy to work. But with children, you're usually catching it at an early stage, so it's not chronic. It's, um, you know, they're very resilient. So a lot of times with kids, you can turn around whatever imbalance is present very quickly. And so I love it with kids. Yeah, and, <laughs> always, and that's good get to kids know. In the door, it's like, oh, yeah. we can get this sick. And that's so important to do. That doesn't mean you shouldn't ask your pediatrician if your kid is seriously ill. But no. Try the natural option. If you have time to do so, try the natural option. I couldn't agree with that more. Now, Mm -hmm. before we uh, log off uh, from this show today, I would like you to share maybe how uh, listeners that are interested can get in contact with you. Well, I can be reached. My website is joannarogister.com. So pretty simple. Mm -hmm. And Facebook page is Joanna Rogister Wellness Renegade. Um, my, um, on my website is my phone number and address and everything like that. So they're probably the two simplest ones on mm-hmm. Instagram. It's Joanna Rogister. I'm keeping it pretty simple for everyone and getting under that Joanna Rogister. I love that <laughs> wellness renegade. Did you, did you, did you, uh, write a book too, or did I get that wrong? No, you did. It's called The Magnificence of Magenta, Rediscovering the Color of Your Soul, and say that five times. But it's all about my journey of healing, dealing with disease, death, and divorce, and all the natural therapies I've tried um, over the years and why they worked and how they worked and uh, the science behind them. Yeah. And, um, you know, just things that people can do to deal with being overwhelmed and grief and stress. Yeah. And if they're looking for more, then this is a great place to start because it will help them find their more and then give them the first steps. No, that is that is wonderful. More. So they have resources to go to. And uh, thank you so much, Joanna, for being a guest on my show today. It was a pleasure. Oh, thank you very much. It was a pleasure speaking with you also, Kristen. Thank you. And this brings me to end of today's show. Please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions, thoughts, comments or suggestions. Or if you'd like to contact Joanna... My email here is christine at communityradio.ca or you can contact me through my website, which is docchristine, D-O-C, christine.com. And I'm always grateful for feedback. I also want to extend a special thank you to today's producers, Murray Stacy and Jim Francis. Thank you, guys. You're great. You might not know this, but this is a volunteer-run, non-profit radio station. And we even have an art gallery. Thank you all so much for listening to Healthy Alternatives. I'm your host, Dr. Christine Sauer. Tune in next Thursday at noon on 97.5 CIOE FM Community Radio with live stream on communityradio.ca for the next episode. Goodbye and have a great day.